state legislative council election scrutiny of nominations from council constituencies disclaimer this training material is for use in training of election officials it should not be referred as guidelines of election commission of india in case of any variance in this training material the eci guidelines or rules or laws shall prevail learning outcomes at the end of the session the participants will be able to understand that the scrutiny of nomination is a quasi judicial function of returning officer know that at the time of nomination filing ro is required to give to each candidate the notice regarding the date time and venue for scrutiny cite the eci's instructions regarding scrutiny of form aa and bb underline the procedure of preparation of list of validly nominated candidates explain the legal provisions regarding the scrutiny of nominations now what is scrutiny of nominations as per section 36 of rp act 1951 scrutiny of nomination papers will be done by returning officer himself or herself what are the exceptions only under extremely rare instances of unavoidable circumstances ro can authorize any one of the aro to undertake scrutiny if it so happens ro would record immediately the unavoidable reasons for such delegation of power also intimate the deo about authorizing the aro date time and place of scrutiny The RO has to give notice about scrutiny both in public notice in form 1 and also in the receipt which he or she has to give to each candidate in acknowledgement of receipt of nomination. Persons allowed in the RO's room at the time of nomination are candidate, election agent, any one of the proposer, one other person authorized by the candidate. scrutiny a quasi judicial process scrutiny of nominations is a quasi judicial function of the ro but that does not give him the status of a court the inquiry into the question of validity or otherwise of a nomination paper is a summary inquiry all authorized persons present at the time of scrutiny can inspect all nomination papers and attached documents no one will physically handle the nomination papers presence of a candidate or his representative is not mandatory at the time of scrutiny even if none is present on behalf of a candidate the nomination paper shall be scrutinized on merits and appropriate decision shall be taken how to conduct scrutiny The whole process of scrutiny of nominations should be covered by videography in all cases for ensuring more transparency in the scrutiny. All nomination papers should be scrutinized one by one and decision accepting or rejecting should be recorded on each nomination paper separately. Even if one of the nomination papers of a candidate is accepted, his remaining nomination papers must also be scrutinized individually where any objection is made against any nomination paper ro must record his decision giving reasons for accepting or rejecting the objection if the nomination of a candidate has been objected he should be given reasonable opportunity to defend its candidature If the nomination of any candidate is rejected, reasons for rejection should be recorded in brief and copy of the order should be provided to the candidate. Objection under section 9A of RP Act 1951. ECI instruction number as shown on the screen dated 13 February 2017 may be referred to in case of objections against nomination under section 9A. 
on the ground of subsisting contract with government. Adjournment Scrutiny can be adjourned maximum up to the second day after the day of scrutiny. Scrutiny in such case has to be completed by 11 a.m. on that day. Presumption of Validity There is a presumption that every nomination paper is valid unless the contrary is prima facie, obvious or has been made out. In case of a doubt as to the validity of a nomination paper, the benefit of such doubt must go to the candidate concerned and the nomination paper should be held to be valid. Crucial date for determining qualification the qualification or disqualification of a candidate should be related to the date fixed for scrutiny of nominations. Grounds for Rejection of Nomination Papers Section 36.2 of RP Act 1951 Not qualified or is disqualified on the date fixed for scrutiny of nominations. Nomination paper not signed by candidate or by requisite number of proposers. Requisite security deposit has not been made. Copy of electoral roll or certified extract of entry in the electoral roll not submitted because a candidate must be an elector in any assembly constituency in that state. Nomination paper has been delivered by a person other than the candidate himself or his proposer. Nomination paper has been delivered at a place other than that specified in the public notice. Nomination paper has been delivered to a person other than RO or specified ARO as specified in public notice. Nomination paper is not substantially in the prescribed form. Any other proposer is not an elector of the constituency. If even after notice by RO to file affidavit or fresh affidavit with all columns filled in, the same is not submitted by the candidate. Requirements of Section 33 of RP Act 1951 are not fulfilled. RP Act 1951, Section 33 Nomination form to be submitted by candidate or one of his proposer from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on specified dates. If a person who was holding defined office of profit and was dismissed and period of five years have not been passed, then he shall submit a certificate that he has not been dismissed for corruption or disloyalty to the state. Misnomer or inaccurate description or clerical, technical or printing error in regard to the name of the candidate or his proposer in the electoral role shall be overlooked. Candidate have to produce a documentary evidence to show that he is an elector for any assembly constituency within the state. Grounds for rejection of nomination papers Affidavit Form 26 has not been submitted. Failure to furnish affidavit or any column is left blank even after notice by RO. The oath or affirmation is not made by the candidate as required. If the candidate has filed nomination form for more than two constituencies, then his nomination form for the third or fourth and so on constituencies will be rejected. But before rejecting the nomination forms in such case, the RO must satisfy himself beyond any doubt. Insufficient ground for rejection Nomination paper shall not be rejected on ground of defect which is not of substantial character. Any mistake or error of a technical or clerical nature should be ignored. The year of election, the exact name of the legislative council or any minor error in the name of the constituency, the description of an electoral roll, number, some discrepancy between the name, age or other particulars of the candidate or his proposer as given in the nomination paper and in the electoral roll. Any wrong information in candidate's affidavit, 
ipso facto is not defect of substantial character failure to furnish affidavit even after notice by ro is defect of substantial character entailing rejection of nomination some important points in scrutiny under the law it is not necessary that a candidate for election from a graduate's constituency or a teacher's constituency should be a graduate or teacher a nomination paper in such a constituency should not be rejected on the ground of the candidate not being a graduate or as the case may be a teacher form aa and form bb in scrutiny nomination paper filed by a candidate claiming to have been set up by a recognized national or state party subscribed by only requisite elector as proposer will be rejected if notice in form aa and form bb from that party has not been delivered in due time if a candidate has filed more than one but not more than four nomination papers some as candidate of recognized political party and others as candidate of unrecognized political party or as an independent candidate in case the nomination paper filed as a candidate of a recognized political party is rejected on the ground of the non receipt of the forms aa and bb by 3 pm on the last date for making nominations from the concerned recognized political party any or all other nomination papers will be accepted if the same are proposed by 10 electors and are otherwise found valid on scrutiny in such a case he would be deemed to be a candidate set up by an unrecognized party if the requirements by the nomination paper is fulfilled and such party has sent notices in forms aa and bb by 3 pm on the last date for making nominations and advise as an independent candidate If a candidate has filed one nomination paper and fails to bring forms AA and BB from the concerned political party the nomination paper may be accepted is properly filled and subscribed by 10 electors as proposers such candidate will be considered as an independent candidate If a candidate who filed his nomination paper as candidate claiming to be set up by an unrecognized political party fails to bring forms AA and BE his nomination paper will be accepted if it is subscribed by 10 electors as proposers and he would be deemed to be an independent candidate The nomination paper of a substitute candidate of a recognized political party signed by less than requisite number of proposer will be rejected if the nomination paper of the main approved candidate of that recognized political party is accepted. However, if such substitute candidate has also filled the nomination paper with 10 proposers or filed another nomination paper with 10 proposers his nomination paper will be scrutinized independently by treating the candidate as an independent candidate further if the nomination paper of the main approved candidate of the party is rejected then the substitute candidate will be treated as the candidate of the party provided that the party has already intimated his name as its substitute candidate in form bb and both aa and bb filled before 3 pm on the last date for making nominations state party a state party which is recognized in some other state or union territory but is not recognized as such in ro's state or union territory such party should be treated as unrecognized party by returning officer even if it has been allowed by the commission to use its reserved symbol in his or her constituency preparation of list of validly nominated candidates after the completion of scrutiny proceedings ro should draw up a list of validly nominated candidates in form 4 arrangement of names in form 4 should be on the same lines as in the list of nominated candidates 
The format for Form 4 is shown on the screen. The list of validly nominated candidates will be prepared as Recognized national and state political parties belonging to the state Registered unrecognized political parties including state parties of other states Independent candidates Name of candidates will be arranged in alphabetical order for each category. List is to be prepared in the specified language, but the alphabetical order will be decided as per the language specified first for that state. For example, for the state of Andhra Pradesh, the order will be followed as per alphabets in Telugu language. No objection to the addition of any horrific, academic, hereditary, professional or any other title to the name of a candidate. However, such title should on no account be taken into consideration in the arrangement of names in alphabetical order. In this video lecture, we have discussed about the scrutiny of nominations from council constituencies for state legislative council elections. If you have any doubts or queries related to this video, you can contact through the mail address as shown on the screen. For more election related material, you can visit the web address as shown on the screen. Thank you.